of psychopathy. We're being offered a psychopathic and psychotic moral attitude. It's psychotic because this is completely delusional. There's no reason to believe that we live in a universe ruled by an invisible monster, Yahweh. But it is, it is psychopathic because this is a total detachment from the, from the well-being of human beings. It, this so easily rationalizes the slaughter of children. Okay, just, th just think about the Muslims at this moment who are blowing themselves up, okay, convinced that they are agents of God's will. There is absolutely nothing that Dr. Craig can, can say against their behavior in moral terms, apart from his own faith-based claim that they're praying to the wrong God. If they had the right God, what they were doing would be good on divine command theory. Now, I'm obviously not saying that all the Dr. Craig or all religious people are psychopaths and psychotics, but this to me is the, is the true horror of religion. Okay, it allows perfectly decent and sane people to believe by the billions what only lunatics could believe on their own. Okay, if you wake up tomorrow morning thinking that saying a few Latin words over your pancakes is going to turn them into the body of Elvis Presley, okay, you have lost your mind. Okay. But if you think more or less the same thing about a cracker and the body of Jesus, you're just a Catholic. And I'm not the first person to notice that it's a, it's a very strange sort of loving God who would make salvation depend on believing in him on bad evidence. Okay. It's, it's, I mean, if you lived 2,000 years ago, there was evidence galore. I mean, he was just performing miracles. But apparently he got tired of being so helpful. Okay. And so now we, we all inherit this very heavy burden of the doctrine's implausibility. And, 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 and the effort to square it with what we now know about the cosmos and, we, and what we know about the all too human origins of scripture becomes more and more difficult. Okay, and, and, and it's not just the generic God that Dr. Craig is recommending, it is, is God the Father and Jesus the Son. Okay, Christianity, on Dr. Craig's account, is the true moral wealth of the world. Well, I hate to break it to you here at Notre Dame, but Christianity is a cult of human sacrifice. Christianity is not a religion that, sell, that, that, that repudiates human sacrifice. It is a religion that celebrates a single human sacrifice as though it were effective. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, John 3.16. Okay, the idea is that, that Jesus suffered the crucifixion so that none need suffer hell, except those, those billions in India and billions like them throughout history. Okay, this is, this, is, this is a stride. This doctrine is a stride, a contemptible history of scientific ignorance and religious barbarism. We, we come from people who used to bury children in, under the foundations of new buildings as offerings to their imaginary gods. I mean, just think about that. There, in, in vast numbers of societies, people would bury children in post holes People like ourselves thinking that this would prevent an invisible being from knocking down their buildings. Okay. These are the sorts of people who wrote the Bible. 